Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here. So today I'm going to do a blue Milky Way tumbler. So this is a 20 ounce modern curve hog tumbler that I have prepped by first sanding it with a sanding block, cleaned it with just some rubbing alcohol, and then I gave it a light blue base coat um, with spray paint. And I always let my cups set anywhere from 12 to 24 hours after spraying them just to make sure that that spray paint is completely dry. So then I just put a clear coat of epoxy on here, um, hitting it with my heat gun to get any bubbles, smooth it out. And then I'm going to come in with my glitters. So you can see I'm moving my silicone mat and I'm going to lay some paper down. Now I always do this putting glitters on because the paper will catch the excess glitter and then I just take the paper and you know fold it up and pour the excess back into my bottle. Um, also while doing this you you don't want to rush take your time you can see that I'm waiting for my cup to turn back around to me before laying um, more glitter on now there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm laying this glitter just picking spots and pouring it on and I'm also using different cuts of glitter. Um, chunky, fine, it, it doesn't matter. All I did was go through my stash, picked out some blues that I thought would go good together, and that's what I'm doing. So uh, once I have all of this laid down, um, my cup will be completely covered with the glitter. I'm going to leave this spinning until the epoxy is cured. And then I will come back and do a clear coat of um, epoxy on top of this glitter just to seal that glitter in. So as you can see here, I didn't, I got lost in the sparkles and didn't change my paper. Not a big deal. All I do is I will now um, just continue putting the rest of my glitter on the cup and then I will use um, all the glitter that is on the paper. I will kind of move it into the center of the paper and I will dip my, the bottom of my cup as you'll see here in all that mixed up glitter there and then I just pour that mix into a paper Dixie cup and save it for another project so nothing gets wasted so here I just let it like I said I will um, leave that to spin till it's cured and here is um, just the clear coat I'm putting on top of that glitter So once I have that good and covered, and make sure you get the top of your your cup there, your lip there, you want a good um, seal. I'll hit this with my heat gun, get any bubbles, um, leave it to cure. So now I'm coming in with, I'm going to use acrylic paint to make the Milky Way effect but first I'm putting on just a clear layer of um, epoxy hitting that with my heat gun because once you put the um, the acrylic paint on you you really don't want to heat that back up because it'll kind of all blend together and then you really won't have the lines, um, the Milky Way effect that you're looking for. So off camera there, I've got all of my um, acrylic paints mixed up. Um, I've got a couple of blues, white, a silver, 
And as you can see, I don't have very much of, of um, any of the colors. Those are three ounce Dixie cups that um, just barely have, I put some clear resin in the bottom of them that just barely covers the bottom. And then just um, maybe a half pea size of each acrylic paint in there and mix that up. And then just using my popsicle stick there to just drizzle on. Now, less is more, don't go overboard or it will cover the whole cup, all your glitter and everything. So my acrylic paint there, I did have that mixed up beforehand while I was putting, you know, my clear on and all that. So it's, you can see that it's been sitting for a while. It's kind of getting stringy. You don't want it too runny, um, or again, it'll just kind of move all the way around the cup, cover everything. So once I'm um, satisfied, I've got enough on there, I will leave this spin until it's cured. I will come back in um, and put just a clear coat of epoxy on top of this just to kind of um, even everything out. Clean it up. Um, I do have a video specific on that that I will link in here on how I do that. And here's the finished cup. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya!